I'm gonna demonstrate how using a continuous loop or a soft strap around a tree and a snatch block, we can change the direction of the pull. We can pull it up to where we wanna get it so that we can hook it up and, and hook it up from the front and go forward with it. We're gonna use a recovery chain, a snatch block, it's just a four ton snatch block, and a red continuous loop. Snatch block, you unscrew it, one side flaps down, you put your cable in there, this pulley rolls, you put your flat back up, you screw it back in, cable's not going anywhere, it's not coming out of there. You can put it around it high if you want, you can put it around it real low. We don't need the height, so we're gonna put it around, around it low. Let's get it even. This is a 13,200 pound working load limit as a loop. Make sure you get the snatch block hook that you put both loops of it in the snatch block hook so that you don't, it doesn't slip out. Now that's pretty darn secure. Okay, now we've got the cable all the way down to the car. Cable to the recovery chain, but before I do that, I wanna make sure I have a place to hook underneath the car. So I found that guy, that guy right there. Looks like he was just put there just for me. Okay, see there? I got a mini J in that hole. I'm gonna make a little loop with my chain. It's already to the car right here. I'm going to take the grab hook and grab it right, grab the chain right there. And then I'm gonna take my hook that is on the end of my cable, get rid of that sticker, and I'll hook it in there. So we're coming from our truck with cable all the way down to this tree where there's a snatch block hooked to a continuous loop, which is looped around a really sturdy tree. You see we got the snatch block hook there. You gotta make sure that that loop is all the way in. Cable goes all the way down to where the car is, way down here. With our recovery chain, Grab hooked it back into itself and then hooked it onto the car on that hook there. All right, let's get this sucker rolling. Okay, now that I've got a little bit of tension on the cable, I'm going to go to the other side of the tow truck so you won't be able to see me for a little bit. And winch from there so I can see the car a little bit better, see what it's gonna do. Sometimes you're gonna get to an accident or slide off or a police tow off where there will be no keys, so you will have to drag it. So, you know, this is not a perfect world we live in. So, here it goes. I've got to steer it so that it comes up where I want it to go. The whole idea is for me to pull it back towards that tree so that when I get it far enough, to clear that other tree so I can pull it that direction. Okay, now I've got it on all four on level so I can now Disconnect my cable, put a block behind it, put it in park, put the parking brake on, and load it and get the heck out of here. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was as enjoyable for you to watch as it was for me to do. Thanks for watching. I know we've gone, I know we've gone over Smash Block a little bit in the past, but hey, grab that cable over there, chicken. Yeah. I know we've gone over a snatch block in the past. Thank you guys. Okay. But I'd like to explain this one to you a little bit. It's a, a Johnson. I moved my truck up just a little bit so I'd have a, a better angle to get it up. And get it neutral now. <laughs> I know, okay, there we go. They're really easy to deal with all the time. Yeah, get the tension off this for uh